previously on The X Factor. We said goodbye to Roberta, Verity, Two to Go, Voices with Soul, Cassie, and Rowetta. Tonight, the dream will be over for one more. Will it be Steve, G4, or Tabby? It's The X Factor. Millions voted Tabby into the top three in The X Factor. And today, he's probably best remembered as Sharon Osbourne's golden boy. Since then, she's done her best to help him on the road to stardom. But does he now have what it takes to make it? Find out as we go inside Tabby's world. For sick. Watch as things reach boiling point in the recording studio with Ozzy Osbourne's record producer. Yeah. No. 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 And Tabby cracks a joke when he gets the chance of a lifetime to work with his all-time hero, Rod Stewart. He says, Tabby, you're so white in your rhythm that you're transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Tabby! I'm ready for it if, if you're ready to give me the chance, you know? You're through. No way! I'm an honest to God, sweaty rock and roller. He's got personality and talent and he's a little he's just a little gem tabby you're in who me yes you you're in you stay thank you <laughs> don't let my husband watch oh. this you got me so he's a good 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 rocker he represents all the young kids out there he's brilliant tabby the one thing i pray is that you are going to find a star for a competition, and I think we found one. You're a born rock star, and you're very lucky you've got Sharon Osbourne. Don't want to miss a so what's Tabby been up to since leaving the X Factor last year? Right now, it's February, and he's still in the spotlight with the X Factor UK tour. Tonight is the last show. For all the contestants, it's been a great six months working together. It's been emotional. The fans haven't forgotten Tabby since the show, and judging by their reaction on the tour, he's still one of the most popular stars on the bill. <laughs> Not only a really cool guy, but he's very talented. He's a great entertainer, and that's what I like. He he plays guitar, plays drums, writes, sings, and he's a, but he's got this thing like a he's a great entertainer. He's great with an audience, and that is very rare because some of the the best singers and songwriters are very bad with audiences. They're not great entertainers, and he is. Tabby's adamant that the end of the X Factor isn't the end of the road for him. But what lies ahead? It's the 25th of February. We're here in the NEC in Birmingham. And it's the last night of the X Factor tour. Um, we've been touring for the last two weeks, done the length and breadth of the country, and um, the mostly sold out shows, it's been absolutely brilliant. But this is the last night now where we all kind of say, farewell to each other, you know. Um, hopefully it won't be the slippery road to oblivion. There's a lot of hard work to do, but I'll tell you what, I ain't gonna be scratching my arse back where I came from. Because, um, you know, I've had a taste of, of what it can be like um, with a lot of hard work. And I'm willing to just work my butt off and see what happens, you know. Um, but I ain't going back to where I came from, no way. <laughs> You know, before I go on, it shows right at the beginning. It shows everybody going down the, sc the screen, and as soon as you come up, it hits the roof. It always screams you know, so loud. Do you know something? Doing this? It's just so around. weird, like kind of thing. That you know, that's the last time we were doing that duet on this stage. I know. You know, I'm going to sabotage the next. Next time, time I do it in your bedroom. <laughs> It's two hours since the show's finale, and it 
it's pouring with rain, but that hasn't stopped these fans. Tabby might be a rocker, but he's yet to get the attitude. And along with X Factor winner Steve Brookstein, he braves the weather to say hello to the girlies, all desperate for autographs. While the X Factor made Tabby a household name, he's been struggling to gain respect as a musician in the business. Tabby's frustrated that his talent as a songwriter has yet to be recognised. You want everyone else to get a deal, have success and do what they do, and you don't want to go back to doing... Because, you know, we, we've both worked the clubs and done all that. Mm. And, I mean, I say God's, God's uh, delays are not God's denials. And yeah. your time will come, I reckon. We have to keep the fingers crossed, Steve, you know? Yeah, well, I think so. I don't think you worry. Look at, I mean, not being funny, but Gareth Gates and Lamar. That's what I keep saying. Yeah, People yeah. say, oh, look at you now. But this time next year, I could be back in my clubs, putting my gear up. So uh, I don't I think don't that's get... going to happen, man. <laughs> I don't get too excited about it. I don't think that's going to happen. You know, you hope... But I don't think any of us are going to have an experience like this for a while. Yeah, both emotionally and, like... You know, um, successfully, I suppose, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's been great. After the show last year, Sharon Osbourne agreed to help him on the road to stardom. But even she admits it hasn't been an easy ride clinching him a record deal. I saw Steve the other day and he said, you know, how great Tabby went down on the show and everybody. It's like, but. I just, I think that this industry in England is in a rut right now and everybody wants to come up with a new little organic rock band in their funny suits, again with the funny haircuts, and that's what every A&R guy is clutching at, you know, another Jets, another this, and you know, there's a lot more out there and it takes a lot more than that to run a record company. When you come to them and you say, we've come from a talent show and this, that and the other, unanimous response is, oh no, we don't want to. No, we want to take something that's organic from the street. Well, he is, but you know what? He was fed up of starving on the street. And, you know, that's as organic as you can get. I, you know, I did a talent show, but I didn't come off a talent show. Do you know what I That's win! Yeah. A break. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Coming up in part two, Tabby takes us on a tour of his hometown in Ireland. Proves himself a bit of a tomcat with all the young kittens. Gets back to reality with the family. Yeah. Primitive man does shirt. And braves the photo shoot from hell with some of the UK's top paparazzi. Thank God I had the flu jab this year. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I get off.